Today, on the final episode of RUTV, we host a senior takeover where only our seniors are in the studio. If you miss prom, don't worry, we've got the highlights. Later, we ask some of our seniors for some advice. And then we bring back a popular segment, Don't Blink, it all starts right now on RUTV. Good morning, Seahawks. Today is Friday, June 2nd. Welcome to the final episode of RUTV this year. My name is Adam Oharduzzi, a senior anchor and writer. And I'm Jared Ho, the executive editor. Adam and I have been in RUTV for two years, which means in our time, we've seen a lot of breedy breaks. And because we know you missed him so dearly, here's one more segment with our very proud principal, Mr. Breedy. Well, hello, Seahawks. Uh, Anthony Breedy for his last Breedy break for the class of 23. I believe many of you are going to be sitting in our big gym having breakfast with your classmates for the last time. So I wanted just to say how proud I am of you for getting to this point and all the staff members that have influenced your ability to be successful Seahawks forever after. So with that, I just want you at some point within the next couple days to please thank somebody that has been here for you, not only at Redondo, but in our community that has made a difference in your overall success. So um, right now, if you, if you look at this video, here I am on the Seahawk Bowl, uh, in the Seahawk Bowl. And this is where you're gonna be graduating. Uh, this is the last place that you will uh, be coming together as a class, um, united as a class, um, and sharing your moment of success for being in our district, some of you, for 13 years. I'm very proud of all of you, um, and I think you will continue to make all of us proud based on what you choose to do in the future. And I know there's a lot of things that I can say, those experiences that you've had from freshman year up until this point, um, the teachers that you're thinking about right now that have made a difference, the coaches that have made a difference, Perhaps it was in theater, perhaps it was just in your Spanish class, perhaps it was just that one moment that you had in the quad having a conversation with a campus supervisor or talking to one of our custodians. Everybody here at Redondo, including yourself, makes a difference and you will continue to make that difference forever after. So with that, I want to make sure that when you do leave here, I want to make sure that you can give back to the place that has given you so much. You're going to become an alumni, and I want you to visit the alumni house before you leave, and that is where all your treasured moments will be stored here and forever after so that you can remember your class, the class of 23, um, here at Redondo Union High School. Class of 23, good luck to all of you. I'm very proud of you, and this is the farewell, last Breedy break. Congratulations. Thanks, Mr. Breedy. It's been great hearing from you this year. Hi, I'm Megan Dang, sports anchor. And I'm Caitlin Hazebrook, editor and videographer. Seahawks, we've got a wild schedule coming up for finals week. Monday is our finals stacked day. Tuesday, you will have periods one and two. Wednesday is periods three and four. And Thursday is periods five and six. <laughs> Tuesday through Thursday are all early out days. Of course, none of this matters if you are a senior. Sorry, everyone else, you'll have your time. All the fun senior activities will come soon for you all, including senior excursion. Let's check out the highlights.
Man, the senior excursion was a blast. Hi, I'm Mina Chepnik, reporter and videographer. And I'm Sam Miller, an editor here at RUTV. We have some important announcements as we transition to the summer. Everyone, make sure to clean your lockers out and take all your belongings home. Also, the last day for textbook return is June 8th. If you aren't a senior, you can keep your Chromebook over the summer. But before we go into summer, let's take a look back to one of school's most memorable days. In case you missed it, we sent some of our crew over to prom at the Peterson Auto Museum. Here's how the night went. had a fun time at prom. Hi, I'm Chloe Appleton, editor and videographer. And I'm Elisa Topkina, director of photography. Juniors, make sure to sign up for your senior portraits. There will, there will be several time slots available over the summer. Seniors, graduation is on the 9th. Graduation practice starts in the morning at 9. You'll be expected to show up at 145 at the gym for ceremony. We're excited to see you all there. Speaking of seniors, we recently asked some of them for pointers. Here's some senior advice for the underclassmen. My advice would be to go to bed early and to not procrastinate on all your homework. My advice is to get involved and make lots of different friends. My advice is to make the most of your years by meeting new people, joining as many clubs as you can, join sports, find your interests early on, and try to leverage those to meet new people and have fun and make your high school years count. All of you seniors, Redondo Union High School, you all stay well, have a great summer, work hard, enjoy life, and I look forward to seeing you in the near future as you all are now Redondo Union alumni. Thanks for all the advice, guys. We hope you all can take it to heart. I'm Nathan Robertson, sports director. And I'm Ann Sang, show director. You know, Nathan and I have been a part of 98 shows over our past three years. That's quite the accomplishment. Speaking of accomplishments, congratulations to Theo Daniel for his title as Seahawk of the Year. And congratulations to Kai Dynas from track and field and Maddie Malone from swimming on winning Rise Williams Athletes of the Year. They and several others were honored May 22nd. Great work to all the students awarded on and off the field. Now, let's transition over to our pals, Eli and Luke. Luke, our sports teams sure were busy this year putting on a show. That's right. And speaking of putting on a show, the annual Jazz Under the Stars concert is tonight at 5 o'clock. There will be a silent auction, as well as performances from our award-winning jazz bands. It'll sure be an impressive performance, unlike our next segment. For one last time, here's Aiden with Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? Uh, this will be the last episode this year, so uh, enjoy it. Let's have fun. Let's go. 
All right, what are you guys' names? Sophia, Zoe. All right, guys, who is the United States' second president? <laughs> Adams. John Adams. Correct. George Bush. Uh, John Hobbs. Who? John Hobbs. No, that's not correct. Um, what continent is Nepal in? Don't know what that is. Africa. Incorrect. South Africa. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Africa? Answer. Europe. There seems to be some disagreement. <laughs> you guys are both wrong, so we'll just move on. Asia? Yes, that's Woo! correct. Of what nationality is someone from Thailand? Taiwanese. <laughs> no, that, that really hurts, man. Taiwanese? Uh, no. Taiwanese? <laughs> Thailandian? I don't know. What? You said they're Thailandian? <laughs> Are they? They're Thai. Yeah, yeah they're Thai. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> What's the capital of Oregon? Eugene? Incorrect. <laughs> oh, Portland. Oh, no. <laughs> what is 13 times 13? Oh, it's Eugene. It's Eugene. It's not. Eugene, don't worry. Yes, it is. It's really it literally is. is. It's not. Eugene. Incorrect. What? No. This is like fifth grade. Salem. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Salem? Correct. Yay. What is 13 times 13? 129. 139? Six. Wait. Whoa! 169. Great job. 13 times. Okay, 12 times 12 is though. 169. 30. Yeah, that's correct! Oh, uh, what four awards make up an EGOT? EGOT? Is that like an animal? <laughs> Enthusiastic. Is it like an acronym? Like a ski? Greatness. Is that... Oh, with the T. Outstanding. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And terrific. That, that's a perfect award in my book. Emmy. Grammy. Oscar. Tony, shout out to Rita Moreno, okay, the first stop. Puerto Rican and first Hispanic woman to get an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Next will be me. <laughs> uh, what is Dr. Doofenshmirtz's daughter's name? Mrs. Doofenshmirtz. His daughter? <laughs> Vanessa. Van <laughs> that was the fast one. We'll go with Ferb. <laughs> Penelope? What is Dr. Doofenshmirtz's daughter's name? Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh, let's go! Oh! That's right. You guys are officially smarter than a freshman. Congratulations, guys. Hey! Thank you. Hey! Anything you'd like to say to the folks? We'd like to say thank you to Aiden and Jared. Thank you for bringing us, feel, making us feel smarter than a freshman for this yeah. many years. You guys earned it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Give it up! That was epic. That concludes the final episode of Are You Smarter Than a Freshman, my final episode of Are You Smarter Than a Freshman. So I'd like to thank everyone that's helped us out with this. Uh, Jake Forbes, Jackson Blum, Aiden Garcia, Hannah Gardner, RJ Pollock, um, Elijah Hughes, Luke Chambers, Georgia Ferrara, um, Clark Good, Ian Lee, Samuel Alpert. And um, I'd like to thank everyone that's, whether you've watched or been on it or uh, talked to me about it, you guys are the ones that make this special. So I really appreciate you guys. And uh, I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't mention Jared Ho. Uh, Jared does a lot of the editing and the filming, and he makes this thing look pretty even when it's not. So we really appreciate you, Jared, for all your work that often goes unseen. And uh, that's it. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this last episode. Maybe I'll see you again one day. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Aiden. As former participants, we must admit we'll miss this segment. This school year has been a wild one, and to conclude it, we have some people we want to thank. To start, I want to say a huge thank you to our instructional assistant, Sam Alpert, for helping me run the class this year, and to Mr. Shihei for being one of my biggest supporters through all four years in his class. From letting me borrow equipment, teaching me the ins and outs of broadcast journalism, and overall being the most rocking teacher out there, these four years would not have been the same without RUTV, and I'm forever grateful. 
I would like to thank the entire RUTV crew that made all these episodes possible. Thank you for all your hard work, all the extra hours you put in, all the work that goes unseen, and for all the memories. It takes a special group of people to make an episode, so to, do, to make 35 is nothing short of amazing. Well guys, <laughs> that wraps up this final episode of RUTV. It's been a wild ride. Thank you to everyone who has watched and taken time to help us out. We hope you've enjoyed this episode, and for one final time, I'm Ava Samansky, executive producer, signing off. And I'm your news director, Georgia Ferrara. Congratulations, seniors. Everyone have a great summer. Good luck on your future endeavors. And keep on soaring, Seahawks! <laughs>